Yo, this is BJ Gador with Men's Health, and this is the Cook and Chisel Thursday workout for the legs, emphasizing quads and calves. There are four moves to this workout. I'll take you through it right now. Here is move number one. Exercise number one is the pause back squat. Use a load that is about a six to eight rep max. We're gonna do two to three reps every minute on the minute, resting the remainder of that minute for 20 straight minutes. Once you can do three reps for the 20 straight minutes on the minute, you will increase the load by five pounds or 5%. I want you to set the rack here to about chest height and the safety pins to just below the waist so if you get stuck or something happens, you can bail and be safe. What we're gonna do is I like to go pinky on the ring. I'm gonna place the bar on my upper trap area right here, those little diamond shaped muscles. I'm gonna get my chest out, get the elbows down and the wrist in line with the elbows, shoulders down and back, step away, get my feet about hip to shoulder width apart, a slight toe flare is good. I'm gonna get my chest up and now sit back, push the knees out, and once I get to the point where ideally the hip crease is beneath the knee crease or parallel, whatever's comfortable for you without losing that good natural arc in the low back, you're gonna pause for one second and then push through and come to a stand. Once you get through two to three reps, you're gonna rack the weight, Step back, rest the remainder of that minute, do it for 20 minutes, and then guess what? You gotta move on to move number two. Now we've got lunges, and what we're gonna do is 10 reps on one side the first minute, rest the remainder of that minute, then switch to the other side, and keep going back and forth between sides every minute for 10 straight minutes, so you get five sets per side. Once you get 10 reps of each, we'll add a dumbbell, but first, let's focus on form. And I like to do these barefoot, because it really helps emphasize a good midfoot strike. So I'm tall up top, I'm gonna step forward, land soft, vertical shin, front leg, back knee, kisses the floor, pull through. I'm gonna get 10 reps on the right side, rest the remainder for that minute, then switch sides, and do the same thing on the other side. Again, tall up top, vertical shin on that front leg. Once you can do 10 reps per side for the 10 straight minutes, you're gonna take a dumbbell, hold it in the opposite hand of the leg that's stepping forward, and try to repeat that process. I'm tall up top, push through, tall up top, push through. Keep adding load and keep that 10 rep mark consistent so we keep building those legs big time. Let's go to exercise number three. Now we're doing tempo Bulgarian split squats. Now there's five different tempos we're gonna use. We're gonna go with a 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off interval, switching between the left and the right side so you get five sets on each side. Let me first show you how to properly do the movement. I'm gonna have that back foot elevated on a stable bench box or step. I'm gonna squeeze that back butt to gently stretch this hip flexor. And I've got a nice vertical shin in this front leg and I'm tall up top. The basic move is you stand up and you control down. Now what we're gonna do in round one is a eccentric tempo. I'm gonna take three seconds, one, two, three to lower, and then come up and repeat that for the 50 seconds. Round two, I'm going to lower and then hold for three seconds at the bottom, two, three, isometric emphasis. In round three, I'm going to take three seconds to come up. So I lower, pause briefly, then go one, two, three, repeat that tempo. Round four is continuous. So two seconds up, two seconds down without ever stopping or also without locking out that top leg so we keep tension on those muscles. And then finally, round five is a max ISO. Get down there, baby, and hold for as long as you can, up to 50 seconds, staying tall, staying tight. And then guess what? We got move four coming up next. Get to it. One of the best ways to work your lower legs, calves, shins, feet, ankles, with minimal equipment is jumping rope or hopping in place. And we're gonna do that for 10 minutes for exercise number four. Now again, the focus here is you can just jump rope for as long as you can when you need the rest, pause, take about five to 10 seconds, get back in, repeat that process over the course of the 10 minutes, or you start with a 30 on, 30 off interval, and then every session, add a second of work, take away a second of rest for that gradual progressive overload to get you in better shape and build those legs real nice. Now, jumping rope wise, we're not gonna do this straight legged or with an extended lower back. We're gonna get soft at the knees, ankles, hips, nice good bends, feet together to kind of get us good technique so the knees aren't caving in. I'm gonna squeeze the glutes, crunch the abs, keep the rib shoulders down, keep the movement at the wrist and get on the balls of the feet and just rock. Stay tight, focus on something, rock it out. No jump rope, do the same thing by just hopping in place or pretending like you have a jump rope, which means you can do a lot more cool tricks without worrying about skipping on that rope. Do this, make it harder by adding 20 to 30 minutes of additional cardio of your choice on top of this to stay lean and keep getting those gains. We'll see you next time.